Live from the RX Muscle Studios, this is the Heavy Muscle Show. With your host, Dave Palumbo. Featuring the Black Pack, Jimmy Palaccia, Mr. K. Jeff the producer. All right, we're back from break, guys. And uh, uh, Jimmy the Bull just did his funnel. Sally did her funnel. Uh, on the break, we had a little wager being uh, set. And uh, Brian Hildebrand, the uh, RX Muscle Editor-in-Chief of the Strongman section, who will be coming on the set in a little bit, uh, says that he can funnel a beer faster than Aaron than you can drink a, hyd- a, funnel, no. a hydrolyzed ultra water. He Bullshit. can drink a glass of no. the beer. No, he's going to funnel. Gonna, oh, he's he's going to funnel, funnel a beer okay, okay. faster than you can funnel the water. Okay. And are you up for that challenge? I'm ready to take him on. Okay. All 320 pounds of him. All right. Um, you, I guess you, since he made the challenge, you'll go first. All right. So good. let's load the hydrolyzed ultra water into the funnel. Uh, That's not a full bottle. The one and only Dariel, Dariel Gaines, D- Dariel Gaines, excuse me, Dariel Gaines, Dairy Queen oh, for short, will be uh, loading up the funnel. I think uh, Sal- Sally, why don't you help out? Ar- Sally, help out with that because okay. I don't want Aaron That's touching the bottle, merchandise. Right? We're just, neither, this is twelve ounces. That's Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a, this is not a full bottle. Yeah, but this is twelve ounces. Look at this guy already. Sixteen ounces. Wow. Right, it's all right. We took a little bit out of it to, 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 to meet That's the fine. liquid I'll quantities more equal. And he's actually going to get a little I bet I can do it. You know, he's a mathematician. Diego B., he's since he's the accountant, right. will be uh, <laughs> doing the timing here. All right? So, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> all right. Dariel, get up on that chair. Um, hold the funnel up. Now, Aaron, do not drink it until Diego says go, because Diego will be timing you. All right. Hold that up as high as you can. The higher you go, the faster it's going to come down. There you go. <laughs> Uh, are you ready, Aaron? Don't let that leak. No, I'm not. That's too... I see a lot of leakage going on. The look of fear right. in his face. Diego, yeah. Aaron, Aaron got the drip. Aaron, look it to the red. Diego, there you go. call it. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Come on. He's wow. done. Oh. 5.6 seconds. Okay. Wow. That, was, that was good. All right. Now, hey, close, at first, like Jimmy said, at first, I'll close the valve. <laughs> I'm going to load up a beer, Jimmy. Okay. Yep, you have a fresh beer for Brian? Do you want to just stand there? Load the beer up for Brian Hildebrand. Brian, come up on the F340 pound Brian Hildebrand getting ready for a strong man competition. Yeah, are you fucking my chair? Yes, sir. He'll be he'll be running in Bros vs. Pro 7 this weekend. Uh, at All Natural Gym in Lindenhurst, New York. We're going to talk a little bit about that in a little bit. Uh, Sally, the, his, his girlfriend, loading up the beer, trying to minimize the amount of foam going into that funnel. Oh, actually, we're doing okay. I must like you because I gave him my open beer. Yes, he did. Jimmy did give up a beer. And hey, Jimmy, you've been driving the truck lately, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 truck. And that's a very long day. What do you do during the day while you're at the, uh, yeah, the so site? Uh, they load asphalt. I take uh, select. Uh, what do you do to keep yourself occupied? I watch porno. You do? Yeah. What, on your phone? Yeah. Do you jerk off in the truck? No, I don't jerk off. Oh, okay. I got to get out, you know what I mean? I got you. All right, let's, uh, let's go to Brian Hildebrand here. Now, what's the, what's the time to beat, Diego? 5.6 seconds. 5.6 seconds. All right, when, don't, don't start it until Diego says go. Cinco puntos. Diego, give him a ready, set, go. All right, one. Two, three. There he goes. He's drinking it. He's drinking it. He's done. Oh, 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 oh. 1.5 seconds. Brian Hildebrand. Well, that's his funnel. I bought the funnel today. Oh, okay. I bought the funnel at Village Streetwear, just in case you guys know. They, you know, you they sell clothes. They, they do pierces. Actually, Brian got his ear pierced today at Village Streetwear. It was a very bloody uh, experience, too. <laughs> I taped it. I videotaped it a little bit. He got his what? Uh, his yeah, ear pierced. Megan, the girl that works there, is a really cute little Jewish gal, and um, 
she couldn't weigh it but 92 pounds and so this is a bigger gauge titanium and she couldn't bend it she spent 10 minutes reefing on my ear blood dripping off of it, it yeah ridiculous. i never seen anyone's ear bleed so much from getting uh, pierced <laughs> yeah exactly so she's a nice girl got it done finally and didn't charge me for it so oh she didn't charge you for no, it just for the jewelry wow all right well, that was good yeah. well we're gonna have Le- lisa who she's owns right, village street we're yeah. coming into the studios in two weeks and she's gonna be, be doing some piercing from for jimmy you're gonna get pierced uh i might get pierced and whoever else happens to be here might get pierced so uh, that'll be fun. Now, does anyone want to challenge Brian in either a beer or or a hydrolyzed ultra water? Jack, I know you're very competitive. <laughs> Maybe even Ann. Ann, is, on, Ann might be more competitive than you are. Jack, do you want to try to break the record of 4.6 seconds? The beer tastes better than the pancakes. Come on, Jack. Jack, let's get Jack up there. Jack, you know, Jack's what Tony wants Jack. to do to be a load of beer. Jack, for Jack. Jack's got two beers in him. All right. Load Jack's up a very competitive. Now stop you before. Man. Load up and a beer. I think you for the core. Yes. And is the competitor of the And you want to now. do a hydrolyzed ultra water since you're a representative of the company? I know I didn't drink it. <laughs> well, you, through the funnel, you really don't have too much of a choice, but it, it either goes down or it doesn't go down, you know? All right, just load up one for Jack. If Jack does it, I'll do Jack one too. All right. Oh, yeah, I want to see Dave do one, so right. let's another do this. Load one up. Oh, no. Jimmy, give another beer. <laughs> Only on RX Muscle do we do, we do beer uh, funnels. Uh, on the RX Muscle Heavy Muscle TV show. While they're loading that up, I'm just going to give you guys a little update. Uh, the Bros vs. Pro 7 Deadlift Challenge will be taking place, obviously, this coming Sunday. By the time you guys watch this show, it'll already be history. At the All Natural Gym in Lindenhurst, New York, we have the fire engine pull uh, for the strongmen. Uh, Mike Jenkins will be representing that. Uh, for the women, we have Anta Tony will be uh, doing the three-event uh, women's competition. And on our men's event, we have two IFBB pros, Dave Watson and Ben, the showstopper white, going head-to-head. So that's going to be a lot of fun this Sunday, uh, July 10th. All right, we got this funnel loaded up now. Dariel's up there holding it up in that beautiful red dress. Aaron Dariel. loaded it up. And uh, that's beer. Jack. That's, that's not water. That's beer. beer. Yeah, you're doing beer. What? You're a man. Fuck? You're a Marine, are you? You're a Marine. Come on. You got to beat this marine. Is that one beer? That's one beer. You know what's Dave, the record? When we uh, four point five seconds. Four point five seconds. Now I think that the, the, I think the right strategy is to get that that funnel as high as possible so that you can go straight down with that tube. And I need to get as low as possible. Yes, you got to get on the floor almost. I know our camera man. You're sucking the dust out of your <laughs> ceiling. Jack, do no, Jack, <laughs> don't, Jack, don't, Jack, don't wait, do it until Diego says you. go. <laughs> it's Tell me when you're ready, and I'll come. No, 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 it's always good to have a Mexican as the timer. I'm worried because there's a Mexican behind. And uh, Colombian beach. You know which way to open it? Oh, I gotta open it? You gotta turn the valve. Don't do it yet. Not until it's in your mouth. I don't know. Either way. Either way. Either way. Either way it does it. Either way does it. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> 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 One, is not done. Uh, very poor. Very poor. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jack. Very poor. Very poor. It's gonna be done at three. It promising, but yeah, from what I've good. noticed, it's it's, it's the uh, the initial burst <laughs> it, yeah, of the yeah, liquid into your mouth seems to be shot. the most difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Start off, well, take a take a sip of hydrolyzed. Check. Already open your mouth, mm-hmm. like to. Rich, Rich, skinny Rich, what would be the correct strategy with the uh, with the uh, the the tube? I should probably yeah, suck it. I think it's for timing. It's difficult to. Say go and have and then have him open, time. right? Yeah. But I think Diego was correct. If you probably opened it, the fuck are you asking him for? Right. Skinny Rich. Ah. Yeah, skinny Rich. Yeah. Well, skinny Rich is an expert on this kind of stuff. Fuck, I mean, he's fucking beer. He doesn't eat. 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 That's not no. what I is. I said, how come you know don't suck a beer? Uh, I, I, okay, wait, wait. Let's chat up for Dave. It's Dave's turn. Come on. I'll tell you what. I won't be the time to try it. What? You gotta empty. You gotta empty what's in there. What do I? How do I empty it? Go into the sink and then the kitchen and empty it. While you're doing that, fucking drink it, man. Go drink it. Give me that fucking. Jerry, Jerry's never want to waste wow. a beer. <laughs> Good job. Jimmy. You know what? Clean off some of the fun. Just some water in it. Fucking pour it back in a bottle. You know, someone who's disturbingly missing from this show, and I say the word disturbingly, very uh, endearing, of course, is Magnus the Magnificent. Oh, yes. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I think that it's spirit. I think what happened was we usually do the show on Wednesday, and no one told him that we would. You know, Magnus doesn't have a cell phone, so you can't get in touch with the guy. So, <laughs> but I have a Facebook. <laughs> But I didn't contact him, so it's my fault. <laughs> I did not contact him, and it's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, I'm sure of that. But not in the studio today. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jimmy, when you were doing these funnels, I think the second time you seemed a little bit more confident with that like thing. It. Do you want it to go again? 
Like, yeah. do you want to try you one more? You want to try to break the record? Try another method. Dave, you're stalling. I think. Bring it on. Well, I want to make sure that everyone else gets to go first. I like to go last. No, no. no what's going to happen is we're going to run out of beer, and Dan's going to be like, "Don't yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm doing one. I'm doing one. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's just. You're going to do. Diego's going to do one too. Be four point five seconds, but I'll try. All right, Diego. So everyone's going to get to do one while we're waiting for the rich, skinny rich to clean out the funnel. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on. I wanted to bring up something. I have a, 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 one of my houses that I rent around the corner, okay? The one that John Romano used to live in, by the way, uh, is, is being uh, currently occupied by a, a guy, a friend of mine who works at Synergy, uh, excuse me, Export Fitness, and his grandmother. She's an old black lady, and, and she insisted everyone calls her grandma. And I went over there the other day because the, they had to pick something up. I had to pick up a rent check from them, and I had never met grandma before. Well, Grandma has like three teeth in her mouth, and she's an old black lady, and she was going nuts, feeling my arms up, and saying, "Woo, woo! What I would do to you if I was a little younger?" I gotta tell you, I was a little nervous. She Jimmy. was smelling hey, you. Told us this fucking story. Right? No, I didn't tell you this story. Yeah, yeah it just did. happened. She never met you before. No, but this time she did. The, the, the son don't pay the fucking rent, and that's right. why he went to the but fucking she house. Give me the and check. She, then, then, then Aunt Jemima <laughs> came to the fucking door, <laughs> yeah. and she she wanted to fucking bang it right there. But this time she, I went there to get the check and she actually started grabbing me. Right. Right. This is the son a, don't pay the rent. This is a different time, right? <laughs> she's trying this to, is, she's this is not the, the same rent. story. You said so, she was a big, big woman. No, she wasn't. A, she's a skinny woman, actually. Oh, skinny? Yeah. Oh, she's she's a different black lady. Different, different black, black lady. She wore a keto diet. Uh, <laughs> are you done? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you drink another five. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jack Olock, CEO and Chief Scientific Officer of VPX Redline. I designed Redline Ultra Hardcore with a dual action micro tab and liquid delivery system. This makes Redline Ultra Hardcore the fastest acting, longest lasting, strongest stacking fat in the history of sports nutrition. First, micronized particles within the liquid phase of the delivery system enter the body within seconds. Then the black and blue microtabs bypass the destructive acidic environment of the stomach. They then enter the alkaline environment of the intestines where they burst open and release potent active ingredients into the system. Amazingly, the black and blue microtabs release steadily into the body for up to three hours. Redline Ultra Hardcore's proven steady state release factors starts to work in 45 seconds and last for several hours. This is hardcore, scientific, cutting-edge technology. This is the most advanced tri-action, dual microtab and liquid delivery system in the history of sports nutrition. Because you want to burn fat fast, I made Redline Ultra Hardcore. You are hardcore. That's why you need VPX Redline Ultra Hardcore, the most technologically advanced fat-burning delivery system ever created. Get yours today nationwide at GNC, bodybuilding.com, and vpxsports.com. Life is pain. Life is dedication. Life is pressure. Life is P28. champion original thinking and carries that thought process to its logical conclusion in the form of unique supplements that strictly adhere to the core nutritional principles of Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. Visit SpeciesNutrition.com to purchase the next generation of high-quality supplements available today that fully adhere to the theory of natural selection which insists that only the fit survive. SpeciesNutrition.com this is the Heavy Muscle Show with your host, Steve Palumbo. 
You're watching the Heavy Muscle Show. Uh, here it is. Get over there, Richie. Richie. We're trying that other method. The, uh, you know, I don't know if people know, but Jimmy the Bull gets very uh, aggressive when he yeah, starts to drink. Get agitated. Jimmy the Angry Bull. And you ready now? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You gotta put a full one in for this motherfucker. You gotta put a full one in there. But otherwise, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be accurate. You must be four point five seconds, or you are a faggot. Yeah, I don't. The foam. I don't think it matters. Like, we'll just now, <laughs> this is for uh, Jack. Marine <clears throat> Corps. All right, Aaron is loading up the funnel. She's excited. She wants to do her job. Darielle is looking very... Hey, you look uh, like a mad scientist when you oh, do that. Oh, that's true. All right, Darielle, get up on that is chair. Is there any liquid in here? It's all foamed up now the way you pour that foam. shit in here. <laughs> I didn't mean, see if it's foam, it's easier because you got less beer to drink. The thing is solid foam. You got less beer to drink. Let it out. Let's move the air out. Don't make sure you put your finger over it. Put your finger over it. Here, turn around. Can't she just stay up on that chair? Yeah, she can. All right. Don't worry, look, I lifted her up with my bare hands. <laughs> the only reason why I'm doing this is I like looking up a dress. Uh, is that oh. what it is? I don't, I, I'm sorry, Aaron. I, are you, are you making Excuse aggressive you. moves sorry, towards Aaron's girlfriend? Me, forgive me, man. I didn't mean no harm. You're supposed to wait until after you do this. Right, here we go. It. We actually do have a show, guys. I, I promise you, at some point, we will do a real show. All right, here we go. <laughs> Diego, get the timer out. Superhead Club. Oh, how, are you, how are you going to do it? Is he going to do it open and then start, or is he going to... He can do whatever he wants. Well, everyone's been doing it. <clears throat> well, hold on. Everyone's been opening, and we got to keep everyone consistent, well, right? complicate well, this. Why do you try open? No, I'm saying close. everyone's yeah, got to start right. closed. Yeah, okay. you got to start closed. Yeah, Bryce, exactly what he just said. Open. Everyone well, started open. I mean closed. Okay. Once you flip that switch, I'm going to start. <laughs> right, here we go. Ready, Jimmy? If you, if you, dribble, out, if you dribble too much out of your mouth, then you, it doesn't count. <laughs> He's All got right. this big line of dribble down the front of him. Here we go. I don't give a shit. I just want the <laughs> fuck. I know you do. Fuck yeah. your timer. All right. Diego, give us a, give us a count. Once he opens it, I'm going to start. No, just say ready, set, go. No, because he has to. Let's go! Diego, listen to what I'm telling you. I'm the boss. One, two, three. You can't even turn it up. Let's do it again. Sorry. 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 Very good. It took a long time, though. How much? 7.3. No way. <laughs> Jack, get over there. <laughs> Load up another one. Oh, I'm done. Dave, it's your turn. You're done. You're you got to wear a bib. You. 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 You're right. Jimmy. Right. You got to wear a bib, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Sure. All right. Load up, load up one for me. I got to take right, this Dave. fucking shirt off and throw it out the fucking van window. It's all foam. It's all foam. No, I want that thing emptied out. Give it to Skinny Rich to clean out. <laughs> Everyone got a clean, a clean funnel. I don't want the fucking... He wants, he wants a wash sanitized. I want you right. right. Do, 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 do. Are you all right, Jimmy? Yeah, man. I'm going to the titty bar after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm primed. You know, um... Oh, 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 oh. Take it easy. Take I'm it trying easy. to clean up, boy. Right, we'll yeah. clean that shit up right there. Yeah, right. Now, this <clears throat> past weekend, July 4th, what did you do, Jimmy? Parties. Yeah? Where did you party? Several places. You, you want to give us some uh, disclosed location? You're not allowed to talk about it. Mars, Venus. Uh, two of them I can't talk about. Uh, one, one I can talk about. Where was the one place you can talk uh, about? I was at my cousin's house. Oh, that's not interesting. Right. Now, Vinny, I got a, I got a, 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 a an actual photo from Vinny the Chin and Vinny the Beak. They were out at Neptune's in the Hamptons. There's partying fucking nineteen year olds out there. Yeah, I know. I don't know. You, you, you think they pick up chicks out there? Nah. You don't I think don't so? Think they talk to them. No. Oh. Nah. I think that they were. I heard they were. I have some pictures. I'm going to give to Pete the intern to put Vinny in this TV Chin? show. And Vinny the Beak. They were out there hooking up. Yeah. What's they his were, name? Uh, Vinny like the Beak? Vinny the Beak is his cousin. He does, he does big lines. He does lines oh. of coke, so he's Vinny the Beak. Vinny the Beak. <laughs> <laughs> now, they, you know, every year on July 4th at uh, Coney Island, they have the Nathan's uh, Hot Dog Eating Contest. Uh, and in the in the past, Joey Chestnut has won the, uh, Joey Jaws Chestnut has won the competition, I think, the last couple years in a row. He actually has the uh, record. Uh, I think it was 68 dogs. He uh, it was his record. He won again this year. But uh, I don't know if you remember last year's event, Jeff. We were talking about this on Heavy Muscle Radio. Mm -hmm. uh, Takaru, uh, the How cool. Kobayashi Takaru, or whatever his name is, yes. the guy from Japan. He was not allowed in the contest, and he rushed the stage. And they had to have him removed by police last year. Well, this year, I guess they wouldn't let him in the contest again. But he, at a separate location, at the exact same time, he also tried to eat the hot dogs. And he wound up eating 69 hot dogs, setting the record. Joey Chestnut only did 62, but he was not at the contest. So, technically, he didn't win the contest. Joey Chestnut did, but he broke the record for hot dog eating. Uh, I'm very confused. 
How many hot dogs, Jimmy, do you think you could eat in 10 minutes? I don't know. I'm not one of those fucking guys, man. I mean... Uh, you are a hot dog eater, though. I love hot dogs, man. I've seen you eat hot I dogs. I think that's all I eat. The, the, the true question weekend. is, can I eat pancakes? Forget the pancakes. We're talking about hot dogs <laughs> here now. Actually, Brian made a point of wanting Where to the watch pancakes that on from? the TV, so you should ask Brian how many you can eat. Brian, did you watch that competition? No, I wanted to. I recorded it. Oh. oh, well, then that's not going to help us out. <laughs> now, Pat Deep Dish Bertoletti uh, did 55 hot dogs. And third place finisher, Tim Eater X Janice, consumed 45 hot dogs. So that's a lot of hot dogs we're talking about. Yeah. And, uh, You'll probably die from that, right? I don't know. The, now, the, Sonia the Black Widow Thomas uh, defended the women's uh, competition, and she ate 40 hot dogs. And that's pretty, pretty good. good for a woman. Yeah, now, uh, she won 10 grand for that, Jimmy. Wow. These guys are making a lot of money. I think the winner... Just like a $30,000. Yeah, he won a lot of money, Jimmy. Really? You may want to start practicing your hot dog eating. I think I'm going to start, man. Because this could be a new career for you. Should, yeah. And all you got to do is eat. I need money. Is that, is that a sport when you say, Dave? That's what they're asking. Yeah, right? they're saying it's, it's a, sport. a sport. Well, it's a sport because you're doing something physical, so it's a sport. Good still standing on how, the is it, how is that a sport, but we can't get bodybuilding in the Olympics? I'll tell you why. Because if you eat some more hot dogs than everyone else, you win. It's, it's not subjective. That's why. All right. Figure skating, though, is a sport. Right, Aaron, you're not talking to a microphone, so no one's hearing it. Right. So, I'm figure skating is a sport. <laughs> Jeff, come, you, why don't you commentate on what's going on here, Jeff? Now, as I come over here and uh, who's up? Try to drink my funnel. Yeah. Are you going to drink the funnel, Dave? Yes. All right. Who's loading it up? Rich, I got Dave's cell phone now. He's Rich fucked. Up. <laughs> he did it for real. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you go to load that up? Huh? What's right here on the floor? Rich is very honest. He doesn't even steal. Like he has some extra enzymes. No, I want to do it, Jimmy. He doesn't even steal cable. Was it a beer? Yeah. It was a beer. No, I trust this fucking guy. No, no, he was no, pulling it over there. I was paying attention. Now, I'm going to show there. you my strategy, okay, is going to be to get down on the knee so I can get this oh. thing. And I want you to hold it up as high as possible. Dave, right. Dave, you're leaking excessively, Dave. I don't, I don't, I don't just Dave, you got the drip. Hey, why, is he, why is he leaking so much? I got to take antibiotics. Dave. <laughs> I got to go, go too, Monday. Dave, Dave lost about three ounces right there, oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> just that yeah. Ready, Diego? Okay. Tell me All right. When I turn the valve, is that when you start it? Okay. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that was mer- masterfully quick. Oh, <laughs> Wait, hold on, we're looking yeah. at the bottom over here. Yeah, the rest oh. of the beer came out. Oh, on the microphone, all the headphones. Three seconds. I guess I'm the champion. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to drinking, no one can defeat me. That was good. I'm very, I'm very shocked. I'm a little wet. But I'm very shocked. Are yeah, you impressed, Jimmy? We're going to go drink it, man. You know what, though? i got to say that, that uh, Brian wins for not dribbling on himself. He's the only one without beer in his shirt. Well, you know what? It's, it's a leaky yeah. valve, so <laughs> it's, it's really not my fault. Anyway, what, what, what is this show about again? <laughs> He's not too much. <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> Bros vs. Pro 7. Well, we, are you going to be down there on Sunday? Supporting yeah, the crew? I, I, uh, Diego, who told me I got to pull a fucking... You're going to uh, pull a fire truck. A 30,000-pound fire truck. I'm going to do that? Yes. Can I bring the funnel? If you be, uh, yes. if yes. you can pull can the fire the truck faster than Brian Hildebrand can... Who's, who's pulling? Brian? You're going to win it. You are going to win a gift certificate, okay, to Precision Peptides, where you can buy... Any peptides you want that will help you with your muscle growth and recovery. Yes, Alice. Oh, I can't wait to go there. <laughs> they have a, uh, you know. You got any fucking pot or fucking IGF coke or something? <laughs> no, they have <laughs> naked stuff. They only have <laughs> muscle building stuff. Are you, uh, Give me a fucking joint, man. Do you <laughs> think that you could beat Brian, who's a professional strongman, might, I, I might add? Well, I have no, I, I probably doubt it, but I mean, I'll give it a shot. You, you do give it a shot. You have sure. to put a harness around yourself and you, you, know, you hold the rope. Yeah. You've seen the, them pull that, the, the, I've the seen trucks sure. and stuff I've like seen, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I said, I think you'd be very good at it. Look, I'll, I'll give it a shot. You know, what I mean, I'm not afraid to get in there and do it. You know what I mean? All right. Well, I want you to ponder that a little bit more. Once again, we have How to do go to practice the, for that. We got to go to a commercial do you, do you break. Practice for that, Brian, or you just just do it? Just do it. You know, you know, practice. Well, Mike Jenkins, who's gonna, who's our pro, uh, American Strongman Corporation pro. Um, when I talked to him into this about six weeks ago, he said he hadn't pulled a truck forever, so he's gonna practice. When I talked to him yesterday, he said he still doesn't practice. Yeah, but let so. me tell you something about that. I was a runner, okay, back in the day, and whenever we would line up at the races, like eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday mornings, to do these like road races, everyone would say, "Yeah, I haven't run for two weeks. Yeah, I haven't run for three weeks. No, I haven't run for five weeks." And everyone who would say that they haven't run for for, for a longer period of time, those are the guys that always won the race. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking I've been running every freaking day, and, and, and I can never beat those guys. So the guys that say they haven't done it, believe me, they've done it. And, well, and, Mike, uh, and Mike just competed in Philadelphia, took second behind Brian 
Ben Shaw at uh, the Big Liberty Strongman Classic nice. that they have there. So he just competed. So he's he's ready to go. Yeah, he's good. Now, you wear any kind of special shoe when you do that, Brian, or just? Uh what we doing no. is barefoot. No, you, climbing shoe, right? I, I have a climbing. I have um, a rock climbing and indoor rock climbing shoe that I use. But is that what really, I should get? Because I'm not prepared for. No, I never, no, 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 no. Even what, just, should, what should I wear? A good sneaker that doesn't have super flat surface on the bottom. It's got rubberized texture. But you're going to wear the, the rock climbing shoes? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. you should put pine tar. So okay. well, how come I can't go buy rock climbing shoes? Uh, I, go buy two pair of rock climbing oh. shoes. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> I think you should. I think what you should do is put some pine tar in the bottom of your sneakers. <laughs> Jimmy, I think you should bring your truck and tie it to the fire. Truck. What about like golf shoes? Like the spikes? The gravel's going to stick to the to the pine tar. So, and he's just going to make so sparks a good, with the spikes. A good, uh, a good rock climbing uh, shoe. And three horses. And three horses. Jimmy, <laughs> I think you ought to do it and sing from the halls of Montezuma while you do it. I think you should sing from the halls of Montezuma do, I, I while he that. does it. That's I think you should I, sing that right now, Jack. When are we doing this? From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we will fight our country's battles on the air, land, and sea. First, a fight for right and freedom, and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of the United States. Thanks for watching the Heavy Muscle Show on rxmuscle.com.